We'll work today on pre-processing your data to make it more meaningful and better quality for you to work with and find some patterns and investigate details. So you have your raw data on your local computer and we will use software Google Sheets today to do some pre-processing and then you would have some good piece of the data to work with. So from all the data that you have, we will work through, delete some duplicates, make some formatting, uh, change the data type, and then you will have the piece of the good data to continue work with and apply some methods. So the first thing is upload the data to Google Sheets. And this is very easy. You just open your drive, you click New, uh, then File Upload, and then you will open this with Google Sheets. You will have your original file that you uploaded, but also you will create the Google Sheets file. So let's do it in practice. I have here the Google Drive and I click New and then File Upload. I have a Limp Games file data. It's Microsoft Excel extension. So click Upload. You can have the CSV data or Excel any type of the data. And you can use these three dots or you can just right click on it and then open with Google Sheets. And then you will see probably in a new tab, like it appears here, it opening in the Google Sheets service. Because you use the original data type of the file with extension Excel, you will see at the top, it will appear just in a second, uh, next to the name of the file, it will be the extension. So in order to have version of Google Sheet, you will click File, Save As, sorry, once more time, File, Save As, Google Sheets. And then it will create another file, we'll see over here, so it's a new file, and one original, and another one will be without uh, that extension uh, next to the name of the file. In your Google Drive you will have BOSS. If you don't need one you can just easy delete that. I will close the top with original file. Uh, we'll go to the drive and update to see BOSS files and show you how you can delete if it's not necessary. So we do have the two files over here. If you don't need one, uh, that is your original, uh, then you just let's use the second option that I just said. You can click on these three dots over here and it will be their option menu what you can do with this file and the internet a little bit slow but it should work let's wait a couple of seconds hmm. okay 
Let's invade one more time. Sometimes it takes a little bit more time than you expect. That's that's okay. You just need to have a little bit more in the front and then work slowly but in the right direction, which is important. All right, now it shows, so you can rename, make a copy, and also you can delete. So we click that one. Okay, so the file of trash, and we just have our original file, which is here, and we will work on it. So we done with the first thing, which is upload to the Google Sheet. And let's check mark what we've done. Oh, let me check mark that. So the next will be conditional formatting. Uh, the conditional formatting is a useful feature for you to see visually uh, the data and the column. So you kind of can pre-select what you uh, target to have and what you already have. So you select the column first Next, you choose the operation, what you want to do on your data. So we plan to do conditional formatting. Next, you set the rules. So we want to select the data that is greater than 2005. And then we will highlight it with green. That's all. And then you click Done. So the result, you will see your data, which is la well, the number... Uh, 2004 is just white and everything that is above 2005 will be colored with green color. Let's do it in practice. So we click on the B. It will select all entire column. Then we click on the format. We select conditional formatting. This is our data range, and we apply the rule. The rule will be greater than, and we set the value here, 2005. Click done. And we will see the green color. So it shows the process. It's still working. It's complete. All right. And when we will scroll down, 2000, 2000, 2002, 2004. And yeah, right now, 6 is already colored. So here is our line where it, we select the data, highlight it. And that's all for the conditional formatting. So let's check mark what we've done and move to the next uh, step. So the conditional formatting is complete. The delete rows right now, basically what we want to do, yes, we, we know what we want to work with is this data and we don't need everything that is above. So we select uh, that row. Let me show you statically the explanation first. So in order to delete, you select the rows first and the second you delete the rows. So you right click on it and then you select the operation, what you want to perform on your data. So click here on the row, it will select all entire row, then you click on the keyboard shift and you hold it, then you scroll up 
and then I click on the line over here on the second line and then I have selected the block of the data from their line 2 to 7000 something right click on it and it shows delete row so you select the operation what you want to do you can hide you can resize you can do anything but we want to delete that's click on it that's all and if you don't need any more like this color it green color you can just delete it over here so it just doesn't show okay so we've done that and let's move on in our process oh, let's check mark the delete rows and we move to removing duplicates which is important procedure and uh, since in our data we probably don't have any duplicates so i will insert and make it as it exists i will just copy and paste in order to show how it works and let's do another one so i created duplicates but your data may contain so it's good practice to know how to do that especially when this procedure is uh, automatically and it's built in function and it's very very easy so how to do that you select all entire data by clicking on this rectangle it selects all the data then you click on the data then you choose the data cleanup option where you have suggestions remove duplicates trim the white space you can do all of them but right now we focus on removing the duplicates and in here if you data have uh, any head then you check mark this box and just click remove duplicates it will show you the result how many duplicates you have and how many unique rows will be all right so let's do it this rectangle click here and then data clean up remove duplicates and yes our data has the header now without it it just want a b c d but with you see the names appears here click remove duplicates it works and show your results yep three duplicates rows found and removed that's all great job so let's move on and see what remaining steps do we have and we will move on there remove duplicates done okay and the next step is head table freeze which is very good feature and very helpful head table freeze why uh, let's see if i scroll down you don't see anymore the head and it's very tricky to guess what is this column about you can but it's especially if you have many different columns and they are similar it's better to have this at the top always always forever so let me show you the static version with uh, instructions and then we will do it together so it's very easy it's here you click view so how you want to view the data then you freeze first row that's it so 
do we want to view phrase first row it's it's here that's all i would make it a little bit bold so it's more visible you can highlight make it a different color but anyway if you scroll down right now your table and you see all the naming in front of you so this is very useful feature to have it in your data while you work and we have remaining a few tabs the columns data type and I will check mark what we've done so we done that and we focus right now on the columns data type so the data can be text numbers uh, months year so the timing and when you help the software to recognize what this column is about it will make your calculations and statistics much better and the quality again will be better so the formatting option is over here and when you select the column for example this one it's just numbers but when i selected and made the all entire column as financial you can see we have comma and dot so the result of it at the right over here you see the same number but it it looks better for you to view as well the software knows that this is a number and this is that one all right so this is there and how you would do it uh, let's say year we click data format uh, formatting number and here we see the number like this but the year actually doesn't have any comma or dot so and in here you don't see any selection like that so you would just probably go with a custom number format and select this simple version over here and click apply that's it you can also see here some statistics of that so the minimum uh, the maximum and the count okay and the last step that I will show you is just renaming the tabs uh, and let's check mark what we've done with the data type and the renaming types is just easy to operate if you work with someone and then uh, also open the files so if it has very long uh, naming for example like here uh, I had another data sets and uh, this is independent budget office uh, debt service so this is a very long name and when you click here on this little triangle you will see the option of rename and then you can put more concise name over there so in here rename and let's say this is a data source that's it and uh, this is a just very basic very simple uh, easy uh, pre-processing uh, what you can do with uh, Google Sheets are seven little tiny steps that will make your raw data look much better and more meaningful for you to calculate and find some patterns. Practice and good luck!